A very good morning to all of you dear students. Today in this class we are going to read a new chapter named The Open Window written by Hector Hughes Mundra. But before starting the class let's do Brahmanath. Open your eyes. So today we are going to read unit 1 of the chapter The Open Window. So dear students, welcome to once again. Today we are going to read remaining part of unit 1 of the chapter The Open Window. But what I have told you in the previous class, look, there are three characters. They were Mr. Nottel, Mr. Nottel, Vera and Mrs. Sappleton. Okay, so these are the three major characters present in this chapter. And what I have told you that is for the first time Mr. Nottel paid a visit to the house of Mrs. Sappleton and his sole motive was to talk to Mrs. Sappleton and to get some information regarding his health care and to spend time but Vera was the middleman here it means when Mr. Nottle came he was welcomed by Vera not by Mr. S Mrs. Appleton okay then in conversation Vera get to know that Mr. Nottle knows nothing regarding her aunt except her name and where she is living and in the meantime she also asked Mr. Nottle either he knows some people present here or not but Mr. Nottel denied and said that his, his sister was living in the rectory and they she did give some letters of introduction to some of the people and to them only Mr. Nottel is going to visit okay. Then let us see what is written next it is all about and where I is speaking her tragedy her fame just three years ago then Vera is speaking to Mr. Nottle that her tragedy, her tragedy means whose tragedy? The tragedy of Mrs. Appleton has taken place before three years but what has Mr. Nottle told regarding his sister that his sister was living in the rectory before four years and the tragedy has taken place before three years and then what is written? Say the child that would be since your sister's time. Okay, means when your sister might be living here at that time the tragedy has taken place and this is being spoken by Vera. Her tragedy, say Frampton, somehow in this restful, restful means peaceful country, spot tragedy seemed out of place and Mr. Nottle was unable to trust it because according to him that place was quite peaceful place. And it was beyond expectation the tragedies also can take place there. That's why Mr. Nottel was to some extent confused that how it's possible. Because this is a restful, this is a peaceful area, there can't be tragedies. You may wonder, then where I speaking, you may wonder why we keep that window wide open on an October afternoon. Then where I speaking that you might be thinking that why we did keep that window open and Vera is pointing out to a particular window and the, here in your book it is mentioned say the knees indicating a large French window that open onto a lawn. Lawn means what? Grassland. I have written all the meanings. You can write it down here. Okay. Just take screenshot and write it down. So here what is mentioned that she is pointing out with the French window. Now the question come. What is French window? French window means the windows that are not means above only uh, two three feet above ground that is present up to your knees so that you can go out and you also can enter into apart from this that window is made of glass panes okay glass door without any grill because if grill is present you can't enter so there was no grill only glass window that one and 
very low height window understood it so that a person can enter into the house through the window and can go outside of the house by using that window so that type of window is referred means is pointed out by vera then say the niece indicating a large french window that open to a lawn it is quite warm for the time of the year said frampton but has that window got anything to do with the tragedy then mr nottle is speaking oh it's quite warm at this time but is there any relationship in between the window and the tragedy who is asking mr nottle is asking like this out through that window three years ago to a day her husband and two young brothers went off for the day's shooting then where i speaking that out through the window means by using that window Three years ago, before three years, her husband means whose husband? Mrs. Sapleton's husband and her two brothers. Two brothers went off. They went out for the day's shooting, and they did go for shooting before three years. And to a day, it is referring to that particular day. They never came back, but they didn't return. In crossing the moor. Moor means what? It means a wasteland. Means an area which is not used for any agricultural purpose or not for housing purpose. That is just left there for the animals to graze there. Okay, wasteland. So, in crossing the moor to their favorite snipe shooting. Snipe means what? Snipe means a kind of bird found in marshes. Marshes means what? Marshes means wet land. Okay. and fun a snipe shooting ground they were all three and golf and golf means captured okay in a treacherous treacherous means unreliable on un, means which is not trustworthy treacherous piece of bug bug means what muddy land look i am telling you what has happened actually here where i is speaking that before three years mrs sapleton's husband remember it mrs sapleton's husband and her two brothers they went for snipe shooting snipe is a type of bird and to shoot that bird they went out okay and how did they go they went out it might be by using the window or not it is not mentioned here and they went out to the marshes okay they went to the west land and that land is very muddy okay just there is water there is mud also means if you are going it going there you can't come out and they all three were completely captured by the marshes okay by the treacherous piece of bog treacherous means which is unreliable not trustworthy bog is referring to the wetland and they all are captured all are engulfed okay by that bog that's why they went deep and deep into the mud they were unable to come out and then what is mentioned it had been the dreadful wet summer wet summer means what wet summer means in the morning time there will be scorching heat of the summer but in the afternoon time there will be rainfall that's why the places they are looking uh, means dry from the upper person but inside it's very wet if you are putting your press means if you are putting placing your foot it will went in okay so in you know the and the places that were safe in other years gave way suddenly without warning gave way means what to collapse okay and the places like this they are very fine throughout the year but in the summer season it collapses means it becomes quite difficult for the person to walk through that place their bodies were never recovered did you understand what does it mean it means they went to the masses they were completely went deep and deep into the mud okay and they were unable to come out and we are unable to find out the dead body also who is speaking where i is speaking to mr norton that was the dreadful part of it and this was the most difficult thing that was the most fearful thing that even we didn't get the dead body here's the child voice lost its self poses note the girl was quite confident okay now she lost the confidence she lost her tone she lost her voice and became falteringly human and it became it started trembling and it became just she spoke with lots of emotion with lots of feelings she did speak and mr nortel's heart melted away by listening the words of vera poor aunt always thinks that they will come 
back some day but my own poor own poor is not referring to the financial condition it is referring to the state of mind here okay means a innocent aunt she thinks that one day her husband and the two brothers they will return back they and the little brown spaniel spaniel a breed of dog which is specially used for hunting and the little brown spaniel that was lost with them and the aunt is thinking that her husband will come and her brothers will come and the dog also will return with them and walk in at that window as just as they used to do at the same time where is also speaking they will return one day and they also will enter into the house through the window because they are habituated to enter into the house by using the window only that's why the window is open for them because my aunt is having the hope having the expectation that they will return back understood now and that is why the window is kept open every evening till it is quite dusk dusk means after evening okay after sunset means that time is known as dusk poor aunt she has often told me how they went out her husband with his white waterproof coat over his arm at the same time here vera is also giving a clear cut picture of the people that how her aunt used to speak to her regarding her husband and how her husband was going with the white color waterproof coat over his arm means he was holding the overcoat on his arm and roni and roni is the name of her younger brother and she used to always sing a song name named bertie why do you bound and whenever <coughs> mrs hamilton was listening to this song she was getting irritated okay as he always did to tease or tease means to come in to irritate someone because she said it got on to got on her nerves and where i is also speaking that uh, how uh, mrs her uh, auntie's uh, husband auntie's uh, her husband how he was going and he was having a white waterproof overcoat and how the, they were also having the spaniel with them and how rory the younger brother she was he was singing the song bati why do you bound and by listening this mrs hamilton was getting irritated do you know sometimes on still quiet evening like this i almost get a creepy feeling that they will all walk in through that window then when i speaking do you know most of the summer evenings i always think that a creepy some sad feeling some depressed feelings are coming and i also expect that they all will come into the house by using the window this one is being spoken by vera here vera is also explaining her or uh, her own emotion to mr notel that one day she is also expecting like her auntie that they will return back to home she broke off and suddenly she uh, means uh, became she started she spoke means uh, she hesitated with a little shudder and at the same time it was a shivering fear means she was confused little bit and she became normal uh, it was a relief and what has happened uh, because at that time mrs hamilton was entering into the room that's why vera was speaking all this thing and say she became conscious of, all, of the situation uh, it was a relief to fronton when the aunt burst into the room with a wheel of apologies wheel of apology means what wheel of apology means number of apology sometimes when we are stepping uh, on someone's uh, feet or hand we are speaking uh, sorry, sorry 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 we are speaking like this this is the wheel of apology means number of sorries we are speaking at a time so here vera just got consciousness because her aunt came and mrs sapleton she entered into the room by speaking sorry 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 mr notel i'm extremely sorry i'm sorry okay so like speaking all these things mrs sapleton entered into the house and it was a relief for mr notel for mr frampton notel because now being late in making her appearance and mrs sapleton was speaking sorry because lately she arrived but it was a great relief for mr notel because now it is not needed to listen to vera he he will have to talk to mrs hamilton understood it so this is the theme so here what is written it is all about the incident or the accident that mrs hamilton's husband her two brothers and the spaniel faced they had been for shooting they are being captured by the treacherous piece of bug 
they were unable to come out that went deep and deep deep into the mud and their bodies were not recovered and where i speaking that her aunt is expecting that one day they will come into the house through the window that's why the window is open almost every day and sometimes she is also feeling that they will return back to home okay understood with this your unit one is over you just read it any question you have you can ask me so till that time thank you have a nice day